All right, you guys. This is two years ago. This is more Barry bragging, but I want y'all to pay attention to this cornet. This car is f f f f fucked. And no, nobody, nobody, and I repeat, nobody would put this car back on the road. They wouldn't do it. Not the way it's right. This car, if it could, would help a two door live. Because if it's running back out there, I mean, underneath that, it's all fucking right. Guaranteed. Welcome back to Beaver's Home Garage, guys. <clears throat> Welcome back. Here's this other Barracuda we got over here. This one here has got a 318 in it with a 767, I believe, that's in it. And this thing has some wild exhaust headers made but, by the great Johnny Morehouse. Oh, was he on Motor Trimber or something? Let's show them headers. But you that's put this engine and transmission in this car, and yeah. you don't know what transmission you put in it? But Johnny also made these headers. Live. When these headers were bought for a 67, 68 Barracuda, why wouldn't you just I didn't bought, buy them. They came with the car. Why wouldn't you just bought headers for this car? Headers, and he cut off the, the tubes yeah, oh. right at the plant. That, that both of the heads. He put the that, tubes man. upside down. I mean. And then he hey, Dad. Why don't you point out something that the other day I didn't get off camera, but you pointed out when we were watching all these videos on this car, what they did to the inner fingers. They torch cut the, they torch cut the in, inner structure on this car. Look at it. Look at, how, look at the cuts on it. It's not like sharp cuts. That's all over. Jagged. That's torch cut. They just broke up the cut torch and just melted the shit away. Welded this piece here on, and the pipe, woof, on. Look at that and shit. then he shot the exhaust look at those all the way welds. both sides. All the way up the back. So it's a pretty cool uh, rig that he rigged up for us, Johnny Morehouse. And he had him uh, put him out there that long, my spec. I spec him out that long. Well, we've already and gotten the legal really repercussions of that. that car. It's got it's cherry bombs, like a truck with a small block. It is pretty cool. I mean, and then our other car is my 68 like Cornet Dodge Cornet 440. And that's not the engine, that's the it's body not, style. He's right, that's not the engine style. call out. Super cool car. We're gonna get uh, onto this, we're gonna play with this a little bit. I really like this car. Ooh. Look at that. I don't know how many of you guys can actually see this, but when I'm backing up some, you might be able to Car. Let's try to pause it on we're the right get, scene. We're uh, gonna get onto this, we're gonna play with this a little bit. Two years, I really like still this car. Ooh. Okay, it don't do it justice, but right here, this thing is what the cell panel because this is your cell panel here. It's right out from the quarter it's section. Not just the cell panel, look, look, go up, follow the window up. So it's right at, all up in here, you're yeah, thinking? You can see the hole, I mean, you can't see the hole. Because here's yeah, your quarter, and then this piece meets your quarter, and then here's your trunk lid. This thing is, Dad's, Dad's saying the hole looks like it does look like it goes all the way up in here, it's in your quarter section. Here. Now, the rest of this, it goes all the way over to here. That car's not worth doing anything with. No, it's just a four-door, man. I mean, it's a small block car. That That's a cancer. I took the vinyl top off of it because it was rusted. Another so half-assed job. There. I don't remember that whole... Ooh. Look, look at this. Ow. Yeah, it looks like I got some patching to do. Patching to do. We all know what my yeah. patching looks like. Wow. Yeah, it's a big hole. Course, right now, duct tape. <laughs> right now, so, the duct tape is... Two years, you guys. Car, three, this two, car has been sitting miles. like this Automatic with water getting in it. What do you think water and metal yeah, an combined RT causes? Flavor. More rust. RT rotted track. Nah, it's not really an RT, but it says RT. I just bought those symbols. I had a handful of them. I went around, put them on all the cars. I thought they were cool. But we're going to get on with that. And then, of course, our 76 Coupe de Bill Cadillac. 500 cubic inch big block with 50,000 original miles, leather, red leather. We're going to get on with that and do something with As that. As Marco here. says, the Hoffa car. Then our GT Mustang, I like to call the time machine. Bet you wish and you could take that back and never never court fucking mouth off or do this drive show, don't you? In 1992, for spring break. Always wanted to do it, and we did it. And this car here was bought Two years ago. And we took this car and we went to Daytona Beach, Florida, me and my good buddy Joe Ruffy. And we had a blast 10 days down there at Daytona. And we got there right after bike week was ended, as bike week was ended, and right before Daytona, uh, you know, the spring break started. And it was in 92. You fucking called it, Dad! 
They went down there for spring break to try to fuck teenage girls. I don't know that dude, but I can guarantee very well. Spring break, y'all. He didn't know if during bike week to fuck with women. He went in between, in between. You know what I mean? Spring break. He, this fucking forty-year-old fucking man at the time was trying to fuck eighteen-year-old girls, nineteen-year-old girls, probably trying to roofie them and shit. It goes back to you know Barry being a bitch in high school, didn't have no friends or nothing, trying to relive the fucking. And my son's eight eighty here. We got some stuff planned. You called that shit so two months ago. Well, I thought they were it. The two door, big block car. No, exactly what for and of course, all the other cars no that we'll be working on. You, Stay tuned. Back. We'll see you in the next one. Beaver Sunk Around. Check out my friends, uh, Jamie Phillips. They fucking beat him to death, dude. Oh, yeah, dude. You wouldn't last about three seconds. Not with no robot, dude, anyway. His, he wouldn't have to say nothing. Just the, him look, the way he looks and his vibe. Like him when he walks into a cell block. Okay, guys, the next one is straight fucking comedy gold. I couldn't stand the stink in there if I went to his lobby or his apartment, you know what I mean? Them guys are nasty, you know that, right? And black people don't take a bath. Oh my god. They got these, they get these what they call ringworms in their head. Oh my god. And the talk about lice oh my god and the women are just as they oh god no i was like who to oh they stink that bad oh and their clothes are probably all just ugh you know oh my god. yeah i had one of them Him. I didn't do anything to him. I know, but the language. Any time, boy! Any time! Come on, Dan, let's go! This is in the 70s, Dan. Coward! Scared me! Hey, it takes a bigger man to walk away. He's got his camera off! Come on, Dan, let's go! Coward! It's kind of weird you want to fuck a 25 year old. Watch your mouth. Talk the fuck on, around. motherfucker! <laughs> Sir, go on, please. Just one of those fucking kids. Please, Dad, come on, let's go. I'm not going anywhere. Come on, Dad, come on. You come to my show? You run your goddamn cocksuckers? Yeah, <laughs> you, motherfucker. Please, Dad. Come on, Dad. There's some bidet heat. There's kids. There's kids. Come on, Dad. Go. I'm not going to him. I didn't do anything to him. I know, but the language. Any time, boy. Any time. Come on, Dad, let's go. This is in the 70s, Dad. Coward. 